but they are globalist. So the issue is, you can look at all these different news channels, all these different competing English news channels globally. That's being done because more and more in the 21st century, war is done through information. I am someone who simply wants freedom. I am someone who simply wants my constitutional republic back. I am an American. I am a constitutionalist. And the people running our country are diametrically opposed to that and are enemies of our republic. So just like when you watch Al Jazeera, uh, you know that that's got a Middle Eastern bent. Or when you watch BBC, it's the British royal house and those big banking interests. It's, it's their perspective. But when you watch MSNBC... It is the policies of the private Federal Reserve that's hijacked this country. It is alien. It is anti-America. And it's that realization that needs to get out there to people. Okay? It's very simple. You know, at the end of the day, if you research this information, there are very few interests out there in media that actually stand for the republic, who actually stand for the Bill of Rights and Constitution. They'll discuss any issue in the world but the fact that the government is out of control and illegitimate. They'll bring you a left-wing perspective, a right-wing perspective. They'll bring you even libertarian perspectives. But if you don't admit how fraudulent the entire system is, you have no hope of assessing the true magnitude and then making preparations to face it. But when people really wake up to the off the charts corruption, we do have a chance of reversing things. But it takes a full wake up. It takes a total across the board, deep, deep, deep wake up. That's what we're talking about here on this broadcast. Now, Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, former head of the Treasury, uh, is really an expert on this whole debt limit situation.